good evening to one and all this is shishkala the physics teacher today i am going to demonstrate an activity to understand converging lenses the apparatus required are one convex lens one plano convex lens made of acrylic material one ray box we know very well lens is a transparent medium bounded by two surfaces depending upon the nature of the surface they are named in different manner see here if we observe this lens it is a transparent one and it has two surfaces this is one surfaces this is another surface two surfaces if we observe these two surfaces these are curved outward bulging out here also it is curved outward bulging out so this is one convex surface this is also another convex surface so this lens is made of two convex surfaces that's why it is named as double convex lens or biconvex lens or simply we call it as convex lens now what happens if a light ray incident on this convex surface of this lens see here these are the parallel rays now i am placing this convex lens in the path of light ray see here see here the parallel rays incident on the one of the refracting surface of this convex lens after refraction all the rays concentrated at one point this point is called focus or principal focus from this we can understand that convex lens is converging lens it belongs to converging family now let us see what happens if i reverse the lens i am changing the refracting surface see here i am reversing the surface even though it converges so from this we can understand that convex lens or double convex lens is converging in nature to understand this one in clear i am going to explain on board see here this is the convex lens the midpoint of the lens is optical center this is the midpoint this is the first refracting surface of the convex lens this is the second refracting surface if a ray is parallel to the principal axis it incident on the first refracting surface you know this is the air is the medium here also air is the medium lens is the denser medium so air is rarer medium here also rarer medium now light travels from rarer medium to denser medium at the interface between the two mediums it bends with respect to normal to draw the normal we know that the convex lens is intersection of two spheres so i am extending this one extending this is one sphere whose center is c so normal should be pass through the center of the sphere so a light ray travels from rarer medium air to denser medium lens it bends towards the normal see here this is in like this at the second refracting surface again refraction takes place it travels from denser medium lens to rarer medium a so again i have to draw normal i am extending this surface is part of another sphere whose center is c drawing the normal which passes through center here when light ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal this is the normal so it is bending like this this is the location of first so from this convex lens is convergent in nature but at school level we are learning about thin lenses means the thickness of this lens is very very small with compared to radius of curvature of this lens 
that's why we are not considering thin lens so the net refraction takes place at one surface so it is shown like this convex lens thin convex lens this is very very thin so refraction takes place at a single surface this is the optical center the ray is parallel so thickness is very very thin so net refraction takes place at one surface refraction takes place this is the focus so if i extend this this is also part of the one sphere center is this one this is also part of another sphere center is like this so from this we can understand that convex lens is convergent nature then let us see one more red one more lens see here if we observe this lens it has two surfaces if you observe this this surface is plane means no curvature no bending so it is named as plane surface so the curvature is zero and the radius of curvature for this plane surface is infinite now if you observe another side it is curved one and that is curved outward so it is a convex surface so this lens has one plane surface another one convex surface so the name itself is it is called plano convex lens one surface is plane another surface is convex so it is named as plano convex lens what happens if this lens is placed in the path of light rays see here the rays are parallel now i am placing plane surface of this convex plano convex lens in this path see here see here the light rays incident on the plane surface of the plano convex lens after refraction if we observe all the rays concentrated at one point so it is also converging nature it belongs to converging family what happens if i reverse this lens see here now i am changing the refracting surface see here now i am placing like this means here okay the light rays are incident on the convex surface of this plano convex see here after refraction all are convergent see here i'm testing plano convex from this we can understand that plano convex lens is also convergent in nature so to understand clearly i am going to explain on blackboard whiteboard <coughs> see here this is a plane this is convex so it is called plano convex this is the midpoint is optical center here is the medium rarer medium here is the rarer medium here this lens is made of denser medium glass so if your ray is parallel to the principal axis this is first refracting surface plane r1 radius of curvature is infinite this is second refracting surface so here ray is incident on first refracting surface that is plane surface traveling from rarer medium air to denser medium glass but it is plane surface so it is normal for this plane surface without deviation it goes like this enters into the denser medium at the second refracting surface refraction takes place so i am extending this one it is a part of a sphere is the center so i am drawing the normal which passes through center of the sphere here it travels the ray tra at the second refracting surface the ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium so denser to rarer it bends away from the normal this is the normal this is the actual path so it bends like this this is the focus so from this we can understand that plano convex lens is convergent 
What happens if I reverse this lens? See here. This is plane. This is convex. This is the optical center. Now here it is the first refracting surface. This is the second refracting. Now second refracting surface is plane. So R2 becomes infinite. Radius of curvature for plane surface is infinite. Now see here. The ray is parallel to principal axis. It incident on the convex surface. So here air is the medium. Here it is also air. This is rarer medium. It is denser medium. Rarer to denser it bends towards the normal. So to draw the normal, I am extending this one. It is a part of a sphere. It is center. It must pass as the plane. So rarer to denser it bends. Towards the normal like this. This is normal. But it is a plane surface, so it will goes like this. So this is the focus point. So plano convex lens is converging nature. After refraction, it meet at a point that is focus or principal focus. From this demonstration and explanation, we understood that convex lens and plano convex lens are convergent in nature. Thank you.